Welcome back everyone. Today I put together a Valentine's video of all my favorite Valentine's DIY from last year. So I hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget it's going to be out of order. So let's begin. For this one we're going to use a Dollar Tree um, heart. This is one this one has two hearts together and I'm going to be using the wall tile from Dollar Tree. This is really an easy and fast DIY. Now I'm taking a tile out of the plastic and I'm going to place it right over the heart. It's got that sticky stuff in the back so it sticks pretty well. And then I'm just going to cut the remaining part in back and then I'm going to use my X-Acto knife to get right into the grooves. Now I'm making sure the other piece fits. I had to turn it around because I couldn't cut the other piece off. Now I'm grabbing a Dollar Tree, a little love piece, a natural wood, and I'm just going to hot glue it on the heart. And that's pretty much it. And then attach it to the tile heart. And you have a little decor. It's different, but I think it's really cute. I grabbed this from Dollar Tree and Dollar Tree came out with some really cute little fabric pieces. They're about two inches and they're pretty long. They're just little strips. So I'm going to be using the red polka dot one. So I'm going to be using the white Waverly chalk paint and I'm going to be painting it one coat. The fabric on, I'm going to be using Mod Podge. I'm just going to use the Mod Podge, place the fabric over the top. Applying some Mod Podge over the top of the fabric. So it's dry now. I'm going to grab my scissors and start cutting around the edges. And then I'm going to turn it over and actually place it on one of the cutting mats that I have. And use my X-Acto knife to get in between, which was a little bit time consuming. So I'm not going to really show it. So this is how it turned out. Now I'm just grabbing a little bit of sandpaper going around the edges because it's a little rough where I cut it with the knife. So I cut a piece of floral wire and I'm going to hot glue it right in between the top where the little slots are because I want to make like a floating type of heart kind of effect. So I'm just taking a little piece of that wire, I cut it down and I'm just going to hot glue it to fit it right inside. Now I'm taking these Dollar Tree felt hearts and what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue them right on the little wire and I think this came out really super cute. It's different and basically everything I used here is from Dollar Tree. I placed um, a pink one in there and then I removed it because I didn't like the pink. So I just went with the red and white. This was super easy to make and it came out really cute. You can also do this with the larger love sign that Dollar Tree carries. You can do the same thing. And this is how it came out. Super cute. For this one, we're going to be using a Dollar Tree heart sign, the wood sign. They also have another one that goes across. This one goes up and down. I'm going to be using a 2021 Dollar Tree calendar and this vintage chalk paint. And I'm going to be using the February um, picture from the calendar that says love. I thought it was very pretty. So I'm just going to remove it from the calendar. So before I can apply the calendar over the top, I want to paint it with that pink chalk paint. So I'm just going to give it one coat. So to apply it down, I'm just going to use some Mod Podge. I'm going to put a light coat on the actual heart 
So this way it doesn't wrinkle as much. And then I'm gonna apply the calendar over the top. I'm not gonna put Mod Podge over the top of the calendar just to prevent it from wrinkling too much because it's very, very thin paper. Now I'm gonna take that calendar paper and just place it right over the top of the heart. You'll notice that it doesn't fit perfectly, but that's fine. I will fix it at the end. You won't even notice. Because the Mod Podge dried so quickly, I'm just gonna add just a little bit more. So you can't see what I'm doing, but I cut a little piece off the corner and I'm just gonna place it at the bottom of the heart just to cover that pink. it's dried I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to use my exacto knife and just cut around part in in between the little brackets in between where the paper is so this way it's nice and clean take my um, sanding block from Dollar Tree and just go around the edges in between just to make it a little more rustic looking because I didn't want it to look like a very clean cut type of um, image on the heart you know what I'm saying so I'm just going across I did end up removing a little bit of the paper here and there but I fixed it at the end Now I'm going to be using the white chalk paint and my chippy brush and just going to go around the edges of the heart. Also I'm going to use the pink as well and a little bit in front here and there just to make it look really rustic. So here I'm doing the same thing with the pink color. So now I want to be able to hang the sign. So I'm going to be using these pink and white beads that I previously used or actually painted last year. So I'm just going to poke the hole with a little poker from, I got this at Dollar Tree I believe. And I'm going to use some of the white yarn and I'm just going to string through the white yarn. So now I'm going to place the string right through the hole from the back to the front, tie a little knot in front. Um, when I did the beads, I did pink, white, pink, white, seven instead of five because five was too short. I'm adding tape to the end of the string to get it through that hole. So I'm cutting between the wood planks um, to show the pink color. I thought it looked better that way, so I'm just cleaning it up a little bit. And um, I think this really came out so pretty. And this is how it came out. I think it came out so pretty, so elegant for Valentine's. For this one, we're going to be using the Dollar Tree um, heart and a bunch of flowers. Now I grabbed one 
of, no, actually two each of the color ones and one of the white ones, which definitely wasn't enough. So if you're gonna make this, you need three each of the color one and two of the white. So to start off, I'm gonna be placing down the white ones first. Now, I thought by pulling it off the stem, it would, you know, go inside the little foam, but it wasn't working. So what I ended up doing was keeping it on the stem and just cutting the stem because, you know, it was much easier that way. It kept popping out. So in case you try to make this, make sure you keep it on the stem and just cut the stem. So I started placing everything at the darker ones at the top and I'm, I think my camera shut off. <laughs> but anyways, you get the gist of it. You just um, you just cut the stem um, to the length you want and then you just place it on the foam. Um, it gives it that ombre effect, uh, the darker at the top, the white at the bottom, and then the middle is gonna be the lighter pinkish color. Uh, very easy to make and it comes out so pretty. You know, if you were to buy this at the stores, it's, you know, it's pretty pricey. Now, like I said, I ran out and I didn't have enough. Um, so I used a lot that I had from last year that I used that were already off the stems and I just placed them on the stems. The reason why you need so much is because you need to hide the sides as well. You can't just put it just on the front. You have to make it completely full and it looks so pretty when it's full. This is very easy and you could anybody can do this. Now what I'm doing here is just looking for any openings like I don't want to see any of that pink showing through so I'm just making sure that you know it's totally covered. You can keep this up all the way to spring because it really you know it is kind of springy too you know the colors. And it came out so pretty, and this is how it turned out. So for this one, we're going to be using the Dollar Tree Heart, and I grabbed this wrapping paper last year from TJ Maxx. Um, it's so pretty, it's very heavy duty, and I'm also going to be using the white chalk paint. So I'm going to be placing the wrapping paper on top of the heart. So I'm just going to place it on the wrapping paper, trace it, and cut it out. So because I don't want the wrapping paper to completely cover the heart, I'm going to fold it in half, and I'm going to cut about a quarter of an inch all around the heart. So this way, some of the wood will be showing through. So to place the wrapping paper down, I'm just going to use some Mod Podge. Now I'm going to place down the wrapping paper right on top of the heart. This wrapping paper is very heavy duty and it's so pretty. Now I'm going to be taking some of these little pieces of lace that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to hot glue it on top of the heart, one on each end.
try to make it as simple as possible. So I'm just going to trim off the little pieces that are hanging over the edge. I was debating if I should put some flowers at the top. And then when I was looking at it, I was like, you know, I like it simple. It's pretty. Simplicity is the best sometimes. Now I want to create like a tail, so I'm grabbing these two pieces from Dollar Tree. One's a hair tie and the other one's lace from Dollar Tree. So all I did was take another piece of lace and wrapped it around the top. Now I'm just going to hot glue it to the bottom of the heart. So I want to add a little bit of the pink around the edges just to give it a little accent color um, to make it a little more antique-ish. If that's a word. <laughs> Off camera, I did use my Cricut and added a word love to the sign. So I want to add a pretty pearl and I could not find any of my pearls anywhere. My box is missing. So I'm going to grab these are like little tacks from Dollar Tree and it has a pearl on the top. So I'm just going to use that and hot glue it down. And this is how it came out. So pretty. For this one, we're going to be taking a Dollar Tree metal heart that has those grooves in it. This is the one we're going to be working with today, giving you an idea of what Dollar Tree has out right now. They have so many adorable things. I couldn't believe it. So I was going to use these little roses that I got from Dollar Tree, but I decided later on that I'm not going to be using this rose or the little flowers. <laughs> but I'm definitely going to be using this really pretty uh, craft paper that I got this book from Hobby Lobby and here we go with that little metal grooved heart sign this has so many pretty prints inside and I got it <clears throat> half off for like $7.50 I think it cost me if you're into like shabby chic or anything like that this definitely is a book for you So I decided on this particular craft paper. I thought it was very pretty, very elegant, and I don't know. I just, I'm liking pink lately. I don't know, guys, but I'm just giving you an idea what this book has in there, and, you know, not everybody likes Shabby Chic, but if you do, go to Hobby Lobby because they have 50%, no, 40% off on all their little craft books, and I grabbed this one. So for $7.50, I thought it was definitely worth it. All right, so I'm going to remove everything from the sign, the bow, the string, and even the front of the little piece. I'm going to save it, though. I thought it was adorable. So I'm going to be placing the craft paper on top of the metal heart, so I'm going to trace it and then cut it. Just going to use the Mod Podge to place down the craft paper. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying this video, and if you are, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. It helps my channel grow, and I really would appreciate it. Applying the Mod Podge, I'm making sure that I get enough inside the grooves, so this way when I apply the craft paper over the top, it'll adhere inside the grooves. Now I'm just going to apply that craft paper right over the top, making sure that I get inside the grooves. So I'm just going to place my finger inside the grooves, making sure the Mod Podge attaches to the craft paper. I just want you, I just need you, 
I don't know what it is you do. I just want you. I just need you. I don't know. Because it's metal, I'm going to make sure there's enough Mod Podge around the corners, so I'm just going to go through it again. So I'm going to add some Mod Podge over the top of the craft paper as well. Now that it's dry, I let it dry for a couple hours. I'm going to grab some fabric, and you can use any fabric in, that you have available. I used some canvas, some pink material, and some material that I got from Dollar Tree. So I just ripped a couple pieces, and I'm just going to put them together. I'm going to cut it to make sure they're all the same length. I used a piece of fabric and tied it together. Now I'm just going to hot glue it to the top of the heart. So I'm also going to be adding a little key that I got from Hobby Lobby. I just wrapped that in fabric as well. Then I'm going to hot glue it right underneath the other fabric. I made this out of fabric and I put a little pearl in the middle. I'm just going to hot glue it right on the left hand side of the heart. I thought it was very pretty. I also made one that's kind of like pink and white. And I thought that was pretty as well, so I'm going to place that down right next to the white one. So now I want to be able to hang it. So I grabbed another piece of that white fabric, and I'm just going to hot glue it to the back of the little heart. This one came out. It's so pretty. You guys got to let me know which one was your favorite today. If you had one, let me know in the comments below. And this is how it turned out. All right, this is going to be the last DIY. So I grabbed this from Dollar Tree and the wood heart from Dollar Tree. So I'm going to paint this with a mixture of the white chalk paint and the vintage pink. I'm going to paint the red heart with the paint called Real Red. So now I want to create the lines for the envelope. So I'm going to take this ruler and I'm going to use my pencil because I know I'm going to make a lot of mistakes. <laughs> Now I'm going to do the edges and around the envelope. So now I'm going to glue the heart right to the middle of the envelope. Now, guys, you can tell I'm really tired. I forgot the other lines. <laughs> but I do fix it off camera and it still looks adorable. Now I'm going to be using these Dollar Tree rub-on transfers and I'm going to cut out the part that looks like a little postage stamp. Even though this is an envelope, I still thought it was cute. So I'm just gonna place it right at the top of the envelope, right above the heart. So the next word I'm gonna be cutting out says airmail. So I want to place something on the heart, so I grab the XOXO and I'm going to place that down 
thought it looked cute on the heart. Oh, did not want to come off. So I did fix it with a little marker. I love these little rub-ons. They're so cute. So this one says, handle with care sincerely. So these are really easy to make and it came out so adorable. So the next word I placed down was Tiamo. And now I'm gonna place the XOXO with the little flowers on the corner. And that is it. Look how cute it came out. I love the way it came out. Okay, for this one, we're going to use the Dollar Tree little sign, and I'm going to remove the middle part because we're not going to need that, and the little pieces inside. So I popped out the backing, and I'm going to be painting the frame with the antique wax. I like to add these really quick and easy DIYs in my videos for those who have not crafted yet or just learning or just beginning to craft. Now I'm going to be painting the back piece of the frame with white Waverly chalk paint. I used my Cricut and I created the word love and I'm going to place that right in the back. Now if you don't have a Cricut, no worries. You get some letters from the internet or print them out and just use the pencil in the back and then use your marker to fill them in. I'm just going to put it back together. And you got a cute little love decor for Valentine's. Alright, this one's going to be really nice too. Um, I grabbed these three hearts from Dollar Tree and I'm going to be using the Dollar Tree yarn as well, the pink and black. I'm only going to be using two of the hearts, so I need to remove all the pieces. So in between, there's little pieces that held it together. I'm just going to remove that as well. To remove all this tinsel from the heart so there's a little spot at the top that you can start the to unravel it or you can use your scissors and start breaking it apart so now the hearts have those little nubs all around it and it's kind of annoying if you're trying to wrap yarn around it so I'm gonna have to cut them all off so I just used one of my little snippers and um, plus I'm gonna remove the middle part of the heart because I'm not going to be using that as well Now I'm going to start wrapping the hearts and I'm going to start off with the black yarn. So I didn't really want to use glue on this so I started off by just placing the yarn at the bottom of the heart and tied a little knot and I'm going to start wrapping the yarn going in one direction and it is a bit tedious so it took me about 15-20 minutes to wrap one so I'm not going to show you the whole entire thing just giving you an idea of how you can start it off and you know without using any glue or anything like that. So 
so I'm going to speed it up. I mean, I don't want to sit, have you sit there and watch me wrap a heart with yarn, but you get the idea. Just go in one direction and then, you know, once your yarn ends, because I didn't want to use the whole spool of the yarn because it couldn't fit through the heart very well. So as I was cutting it, I just reattach it in the back the same way I did in the beginning. And, you know, obviously if you want to use glue, you can, but I find using glue with yarn starts to get all over your fingers, gets all over the yarn, it starts to make it look yucky. And this is how the black one turned out. I'm gonna go ahead and do the pink one off camera. Now this is how they turned out. Now you can use any other color yarn if you don't like black or pink. I just chose the black and pink theme today. Um, now I wanna put them together, so I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna attach them. So I decided, well, I'm gonna use the hot glue because if I use string, you'll see it. So I'm going to go ahead and use the hot glue and attach the two hearts together. Now I went ahead and made some bows out of the Dollar Tree ribbon. Now I'm not really great at making bows, you guys know this, uh, but I did the best I could. I mean, some people can make such pretty bows and you know what? I've watched many YouTube videos. I even have a bow maker and I still can't make them. I don't know what it is with the bows, but anyways, I'm going to place this at the top with some glue. So I made a smaller bow for the pink one. I used Dollar Tree ribbon again. I also used this mini bows. I don't even know where I got these from years ago. Um, and I used this like velvet type ribbon from Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to place that one at the corner of the little pink heart with some hot glue. So I grabbed these little fake pearls from Dollar Tree and I decided to use two of them. So I'm just going to hot glue two to the black heart. Now I want to be able to hang it. So I'm going to grab this piece of ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree. There's a little hanging hole at the top of the heart. I'm just gonna place it right through there. I'm gonna tie a knot at the top of the ribbon and cut off the excess. And that is it. And this is how it came out. I think it came out so cute. this is going to be the last DIY and I grabbed this from Dollar Tree it's so pretty as is and I'm going to be using some pink tissue paper I've seen people use coffee filters and I wanted to give it a try with the tissue paper first thing I'm going to do is remove all the tags and the lug piece in front So the easiest way to cut little pieces of the tissue paper is to fold it in half and then fold it in half and keep folding it and then start cutting, cutting it down this way and it makes it easier and faster. So I cut, I don't know, so many pieces I couldn't even count, but they're about two by two, some are three by three. It depends on how big you want your little tissue flowers. So I have it all folded. Now I'm going to start cutting right in the middle. So I'm just making sure all the pieces are cut through. So you're just going to open it up and cut right through the middle. And then once you have your little pile, you're going to fold it again. So you're going to keep folding it until you get like a two by two size and then cut the remaining pieces. This is so much easier and faster than cutting individual pieces because it would take you forever. So 
Now I have my first pile and I'm going to start applying them to the little heart. So I'm going to grab one little piece and kind of like pinch it at the bottom, place a little glue on the heart and place it down. No matter where you start, I decided to start right at the top where the point is and made it easier that way so I can start moving my way either to the left or to the right. So it doesn't matter, you can start at the bottom. But all you do is just pinch it at the bottom, place a little glue, place it down. And like I said, you can make two by two. I made the three by threes for the top part of the heart, you know, the fatter part of the heart to be a little more fuller. So basically that's all you do. You just pinch glue and um, I put like three each roll going down. You can add as many as you like. Um, at the end, you can take a look and make sure if there's any spots you need to refill and just fill it up. It's really easy to do. It took me about 15, 20 minutes to do it, but the end results are amazing. Now, if you don't like pink tissue paper or you don't like a pink heart, you can use the red tissue paper or any color actually. And um, I think it comes out so pretty. Um, I really love the way it came out. It really is simple. You don't need to add anything to it. You'll see at the end how pretty it came. If I could stop the time, don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? Forever. So this is how it came out, it's so pretty. So now I'm taking a look, making sure there's no gaps. And if I do see a gap, I just place a little tissue in there. And um, that's basically it. I mean, it's super easy, super pretty. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Now I'm gonna take that pretty little piece of ribbon that the heart originally came with and just gonna re-glue it to the back of the heart to hang it. And this is how it came out, so pretty. Sing along and I can't help but feel it. Just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving. Well, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Till next time, guys, take care. I'll see you real soon. Bye bye.